We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're gonna save the fucking planet? I'm getting tired of that shit. Tired of that shit. Tired. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're gonna save the fucking planet? I'm getting tired of that shit. Tired of that shit. Tired. This is the story of a modern Prometheus who changed the world with electricity. It was Nikola Tesla who captured the power of Niagara Falls with his alternating current system and made it possible to transmit electricity to all of America and the world. It was Tesla who patented the technology for wireless communications that is used in all radio and television broadcasting. His incredible legacy can be seen in everything from remote control to neon and fluorescent lighting, x-rays, guided missiles, and even the Strategic Defense Initiative. Yet somehow, history has overlooked this remarkable man. Tesla was indeed a genius of the first magnitude. He was a, a, a technological visionary. He, can, he could envision great things and make them work. He was a foreigner, an immigrant who arrived in America with only his dreams. A proud and sometimes arrogant man, he worked and locked horns with some of the most powerful people of his day. Thomas Edison, who resented his ideas. Guglielmo Marconi, who capitalized on his inventions. George Westinghouse, who created the Westinghouse Electric Company with Tesla's patents. And the great financier, J. Pierpont Morgan, who supported and then abandoned him. At the height of his career, Tesla was one of the most famous men in the world. His inventions helped America grow into a powerful industrial nation. His ideas created billion-dollar corporations. But Tesla was not a practical man. Always driven toward the next great breakthrough, he failed to protect his commercial interests. In the end, others made fortunes with his inventions, and he wound up penniless and rejected. Money, money does not mean to me what it does to other men. All my money has been invested in inventions to make man's life a little easier. He was a visionary genius. There aren't many of them.